All right, folks. God bless you guys. Welcome to This Is It, 4321. Listen, I'm doing a, a, a check-in. I'm working on a vid. I did a vid last night. Another hour and a half ended up in the dumpster. So just, I'm gonna, no matter what, whatever happens to try and stop me on pr production of video, it's just making it better and making it stronger. So I've done a folder for you guys. If you will grab this folder right now and make sure you hang on to this folder, watch this. There's this folder right here. It's called, the name of the folder is Tsunami of Truth. Okay, the Tsunami of Truth folder. And you'll know you've got it because there's a whole bunch of different uh, uh, examples of the hindecagram because I really wanted people to understand that that twin female system that you see in the Adidas commercial right here back to back, you see it, you see it in Jordan Peele, uh, the movie Us, the twin females back to back. And that is a representation of the system that was created by that twin female energy from the primordial goddess of the abyss and that's what this is and we all got our host bodies everyone got your host body but see you're your own worst enemy now you're trapped in her system that's why the bible says come out of her my people because see we got injected into her because we were willing to take the bait and we were willing to take on the host bodies now here you go let me show you something if you will simply get this folder tsunami of truth we're going to go through it i want to show you guys something if you start right here after you know after all these different examples of the hindecagram with different images images on them if you start right here and you just go in order like you know here to here to here to here and you just go like this i've lined everything out to tell a story and so the scriptures will bear out every single thing I've told you. You see all these scriptures? They all tell the same story that we got carried away captive, we got inverted in a host body, and the only way back to God is to turn back. You turn back, look up, literally redouble your eyes. That's what it says. It is a form of being redoubled. Your eyes become single. The dungeon is open, which is your host body, and it's closed because, see, this is a closed dungeon. You're closed in it. When you open it up, your eyes become single. Get it? Now, there's those that are sold out to the enemy, and they're double downs, and they're just, they're, they're done. They're completely closed. But this is someone that has the opportunity to get converted and get out of the dungeon. And so I've taken all these scriptures that prove it out, and we're going to go through those, and I'm going to just do it again today. I, like I said, I did it last night, and I was like, here we go again. Okay, but let me show you Let me show you a, a scripture that I'm just so excited to get to share with you. Watch this. Okay, so again, the twin female energy is what started the host body system. In Genesis 1, let us create man in our image. So in the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created him, and it's Lucifer, and it, he's got that twin female energy that started the primordial uh, host body uh, reptilian system. It's a humanoid reptilian system. Just go look at the Vatican. That's all you got to do. Twin serpents alongside each other. Okay, now watch this. Okay. Come out of her, my people. Her sins are and her plagues are piled as high as heaven. Do not be partakers in her sins. Receive ye not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double her, double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she has filled, fill to her double. So, the Lord is going to take vengeance on the system, the system that was created by the twin female energy, and it was manifested by a reptilian parthenogenesis uh, serpent race of humanoids. Okay, that's the beginning of it. Now watch. Watch this. Y'all remember Genesis 1? Remember a lot of people, oh, Clark's a false prophet. No, this is, this is Jonathan hearing from the Lord. Let me show you something. So Elohim created man in his own image. There it is. In his own image, it means a phantom, figuratively an illusion. And then it says a representative figure, especially an idol. Okay. 
Elohim created man in his own image. In the image of Elohim created he him, male and female created he them. So we have now genitalia that have been introduced into a host body system, and that is a way to transfer energy, and it's a transmutation circle. Now watch this. Ready? When I woke up, when I was awakened out of my sleep, the night I got sick, the Bible says, arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. So we all arise from the dead because when you get converted, my eyes were inverted and I could see the world as it truly is because there's a whole nother world in front of your face. It's just upside down right in front of your face. That's the reason the virgin is a dead sheep because it's not just the virgin, it's the virgin, but it's also a dead sheep. You've got to invert it to see the truth of the image. Do you understand? Okay, now watch. Ready? Okay, so when I woke up, I was like, this is unbelievable. Like, where am I? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, ready? Here you go. So Elohim created man in his own image. In the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created he them. There's no arguing with what it says right here, right? It does say Elohim created man in his own image. Yes or no? Well, it's right there. Elohim created man in his own image. The word is Selem. Say it out loud. Selem. A phantom. Figuratively an illusion. Hence a representative figure, especially an idol. It does say that right there, doesn't it? And I, am, I, am I misreading that? Does it say Elohim created man in his own image? Is that what it says right there? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Let me show you something. Y'all ready? Let's do the Bible. Okay, just... Brace yourself. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, until I went into the sanctuary of El, the Almighty God. See it? it says El right there. Until I went into the sanctuary of El, then understood I their end. Okay. This is what I'm. This is what I've been called to show everybody. I'm, I've been called to show you their end, the twin female system. The whole earth is this twin female reptilian race that began everything in the beginning. Ready? Okay, here you go. Watch. Until I went into the sanctuary of El, then under then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down. So they were cast down. The word is nafal, to cast down. It's same as Psalm 82, you shall fall like one of the princes. Thou castest them down into destruction, ruin. There it is, desolation, destruction. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation? The word desolation is ruin. How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, they are utterly consumed with terror. So they are going to be utterly consumed with terrors in a moment. It's going to happen to them. Ready? As a dream. Okay, it says as a dream right here. See it? As a dream. When one awakeneth. Okay, it means through the idea of abruptness in starting up from sleep. So when you're abruptly awakened from sleep. As when one awakeneth, so Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. There it is. Thou shalt despise their image. See it right there? Salem. When thou awakest, thou shalt despise their Salem. Okay, well, see, I didn't know any of this until I was in the sanctuary of El, the Almighty God, the rock that's been put together and made whole. Why do you think you took me to the, the desert to give me two halves of the same rock? <laughs> because his purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. That's why he took me to the desert, a desolate place, to show me the end of their world has come. And the beginning of our time is here. See, the end of theirs is the beginning of ours. And the, that's why I'm hated, because I'm showing up with the, the news. I mean, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. 
and all those that have turned their faces against him and stiffened their neck against the Lord God, El, the Almighty God, then you reap what you sow. That's it. And here it is. How are they brought into desolation as, as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terror? So they're going to be utterly consumed with terrors in a moment. They're going to see it and freak out. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Selim. Thou shalt despise their Selim, representative figure, especially an idol, which they created to get angels into a host body system in order to destroy them. Because there's a good you and there's a bad you, and the bad you is connected to the pit. And that's what Satan runs. That is the system, and it's an insect race killing angels. That's what this is. That's why the largest altar in the world turns into an insect, and that's why the insect is harvesting a bunch of angels. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. It doesn't even require a brain. Just look at the pictures. Okay, here we go. So anyway, now what I've done is, if you guys will go through and you want to just look at all these images and you want to look at all these scriptures that are highlighted and you just go, you know, like this, just go from one to the other and just look at them all and familiarize yourself with them, then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to deliver them. I'm going to hand deliver all that to you guys. Just like, let's open each scripture together and rejoice because the Lord has delivered the truth. It's been delivered. Here it is. 100% nylon, 100% no lying. <laughs> it goes back to the night I got saved. Absolute truth. truth. The truth is absolute. That's being on the rock. All right. I love you guys. This is getting good. Yeah. Another video in the dumpster, hour and a half in the dumpster last night. Here we go again. <laughs> so funny. All right. I love you guys.